In this video, we'll be using dimensional analysis to complete the following conversion. How many microliters are in 4.5 liters? Well, here's our metric prefixes. And let's start this problem like we start all dimensional analysis problems. Start by writing the given, 4.5 liters. Now you know that it's going to be the given times a conversion factor and then that will give us a goal. So now we have to figure out what is the conversion factor. Well, we want to know how many microliters, that's here, are in 4.5 liters. Liters is our base unit. So what's the conversion factor between micro and the base unit? Well, you can see that micro means a millionth. It's very small, so it takes a million microliters to equal one liter. That's what I've written out here. One liter equals 10 to the sixth microliters. So we need a million of these small microliters to equal one liter. Now you may have noticed that this is to the positive six and this is to the negative six. Well, you could also write it like this. This would be fine as well. One microliter equals 10 to the minus 6 liters. Now let's make sure that this makes sense too. One microliter is really, really small. So that would be equal to only, a, only a, a millionth of a liter. So that does make sense. One millionth of one liter is equal to one microliter. And a million microliters is equal to one liter. So make sure that your conversion factors are equivalent quantities. One liter equals a million microliters, or one microliter equals a millionth of a liter. So either one of these conversion factors will work. You'll only need one. I just selected both just this one time so you could see how it's done. Use whichever one makes sense to you. To me, this conversion makes more sense because I know that micro is small. So I know I need a million of these small things to equal one of these big things. So let's plug that in. Now what goes where? Which one of these goes in the numerator and which one goes in the denominator? You'll remember we discussed that if there's a unit in the numerator and that same unit appears in the denominator, then they will cancel out. So I've arranged the conversion factor in this fashion so liters will cancel out. So in your calculator, do 4.5 times 10 to the 6th. And the answer is 4.5 times 10 to the 6th microliters. Now just for the sake of illustration, um, let's repeat this problem using this conversion factor. Same way as before. Start off by writing your given. We have liters in the numerator, so we want to get liters in the denominator. So the liters should cancel. And of course, we get the same answer. So once again, these are the things you want to do every time. Immediately, write your given. Secondly, ensure that your units in the, in the numerator will cancel the units in the denominator. And thirdly, make sure that your conversion factor, um, that, that both numbers are equivalent to each other. That's a big mistake that students make. So make sure that these are equal to one another. Make sure that the units cancel and start by writing your given. If you do those things every time, it will be a winner every time.